Hello and welcome to People's Dispatch. India has been one of the countries that has been severely affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, although we don't know the exact extent of the spread so far, and there is speculation that the number of cases right now might be underreported. There is also a lot of concern about the socio-economic impact on people, especially the farmers and the working class. Yesterday, that's Thursday, the Indian government announced a $23 billion, that's a 1.75 lakh crore financial package for various sections. There were basically amounts announced that would go to the farmers, to the workers, there was the announcement that rations and food would be provided. But there's also been a lot of criticism that these steps are not enough considering the magnitude of poverty in the country. To talk more about this, we have with us Viju Krishna, the All India Kisan Sabha, which is a farmers organization from India. Thank you, Viju, so much for joining us. Viju, to start with, could you uh, tell us what has been the response, what is your organization's response, especially to the package that was announced yesterday? One of the key announcements was that nearly 2,000 rupees would be given to farmers in the month of April. And there was also announcements of provisions of rice, of pulses and uh, gas, that's cooking gas being supplied to the farmers, uh, to, uh, to poor people across the country. But uh, I think that there's been a lot of discussion about how this is inadequate. So could you talk a bit about it? I think uh, it is uh, too little and too late. This uh, should have come before the Prime Minister's address and before the lockdown, these things should have been put in place in a much more uh, inclusive manner. Right. That has not happened. Here, uh, the talk of 2,000 rupees to going to the farmers, uh, you see the numbers itself. Earlier, they had mentioned that 14.5 crore farmers would benefit from the Pradhan Mantri Kis uh, Kisan Saman Nidhi. And, but now what is happening is the number given is something like 8.7 crores. Almost 6 crore farmers have just uh, vanished. I don't know how these numbers they have got to. The other thing is already this 2000 uh, first installment was due for the farmers. It's nothing new. So what we have demanded is that uh, the entire 6000 should be immediately given. And uh, there should uh, also be that the farmers should be provided with free seeds for the next season, and uh, uh, so on. There are uh, such demands that we have uh, made. Right. For the agriculture workers also, it is just a 20 rupee increase. And uh, it is uh, not, uh, every year there is some increase uh, according, uh, which is being made. But here you find this 20 rupees is pittance. We have uh, made a, a specific demand that use the unemployment uh, wage clause in the, uh, within the uh, Rural Employment Guarantee Act and then provide all agricultural uh, workers at least 300 rupees per day. Right. That is the demand that we have made. Uh, the, there are issues regarding the ration and so on. Also, the quantity has to be increased. The pulses, uh, there is uh, one kilo for a family is not all enough. You need to also include other things, like essentials like um, cooking oil, then um, uh, you, uh, vegetable oils, I mean, and then the uh, also uh, sugar and salt and such uh, things into the ration system. Right. One, uh, it is very important to ensure that while the pandemic itself is um, uh, has reached a dangerous proportion, we must also ensure that hunger doesn't emerge as a even bigger killer. So uh, another key question is the fact that from the reports you have received so far, what has been the actual impact on the ground on fa farmers' livelihoods, especially with the harvest season coming up? and the issues in transport. We've already heard reports of farmers being unable to sell some of their produce and general chaos, especially in the rural areas. Actually, you see in large parts of India, this is the uh, almost nearing harvest of wheat, um, harvest of uh, different uh, kind of pulses. Um, for instance, uh, chana uh, is, gram is being uh, almost uh, for harvest, chili, different crops. And there is also the issue of the perishables like uh, milk, fish, um, fruits, vegetables, and uh, flowers. There is absolutely no possibility because of this lockdown that has been implemented. And farmers require uh, this harvest to be done. Otherwise, the entire investment, toil and capital, over the last uh, uh, almost a year, that goes down the drain. That is one issue. And the uh, Kerala government has come with an innovative uh, uh, scheme which talks about how uh, harvesting of paddy is treated as an essential service. And the government will assist in ensuring that the farmers' uh, uh, sanding crops are not destroyed. 
here now we are faced with the threat of these standing crops being destroyed because already unseasonal rains have led to a, a damage of lot of crops and farmers are facing the threat of wild animals stray cattle uh, damaging these crops this is also an issue so we have uh, demanded that there should be a, a relaxation of the lockdown and the big proper proper protocol being uh, ensured there should be uh, allowing uh, of harvest for the farmers there should be marketing also facilities because milk is uh, milk and other perishables it is uh, you have to sell immediately so the government should put in place something to ensure otherwise your the country is going to stare at a much much uh, bigger crisis crisis of a bigger magnitude where people would be starving to death and there's also the issue of credit, credit and debt because and uh, i think a lot of the steps of the government also seem very short term as in their immediate uh, their immediate uh, say handing out cash for instance but what about the question of the long term agricultural cycle itself especially considering the nature of the crisis in india see uh, actually even the announcement of uh, uh, 1 lakh 70000 crores or around uh, 23 uh, billion dollars we have been demanding in the interim within a month to every uh, individual 5000 uh, rupees that would come to um, more than double of the package announced for the entire country yesterday the other thing is you require to help the states state the financial package for the states to address the issues of the farmers the agriculture workers migrant workers you are having a huge crisis where the migrant workers are just left to fend for themselves nothing is being done by the central government and even uh, many state governments have actually failed uh, i think a model successful model has been uh, in place in kerala you have lessons to learn this is not time for political uh, bickering one has to learn lessons from successful models you have to have a longer plan it, uh, it is it cannot be just an interim one month or two months certain uh, things which have very clearly come out now the need for nationalizing health facilities uh, uh, that is something which is very important the need for much bigger investment in rural development and agriculture uh, itself that is something which is required these are also these also have to come into the narrative though it is uh, in the long run these are th- uh, surely issues which have to be uh, taken up organizations like ours have been making these demands we are going to further try and impress upon this government to be much more sensitive this is this cannot be addressed only as a health epidemic and lockdown alone is not the answer it has to be accompanied by a series of other measures which cannot be just short it has to continue in the long run thank you so much viju for talking to us pie cantar que vamos a triunfar